we have a C-class property that is projected as it currently states to do 13.5% on our money. That's not horrible, okay? That's not horrible. But based on the things that we've seen in the listing, right? The yard, it looks like fucking shit. We don't have like a very good marketing uh, presentation delivered to us by the listing agent. And all the neighboring properties, let me pull that up again, right? These neighboring properties, man, they, they are scaring folks, I think, right? Like just nothing about this photograph right here speaks to, you know, the general public saying like this isn't just, you know, pure fucking garbage. But again, that's why you have me. That's why you have my expertise. I literally have thousands, thousands of tenants, thousands of front doors in these neighborhoods. This is very much a C-class neighborhood. And even though this thing looks like fucking shit, there is a ton of upside here. And I actually like this property a lot more than I like that quad. Let's get into why. Number one, okay? This is a side-by-side -side duplex. All things being equal, if you have the opportunity to pick up a side-by-side -side duplex versus an up-down duplex, you have to go with the side-by-side -side duplex every single time. Having a side-by-side -side layout is going to drastically reduce your turnovers, okay? With an up-down duplex, these are older properties. These properties are, you know, the majority of these properties, guys, these are built in, like, the 1920s, okay? So these are all almost 100 years old. So, you know, they weren't built with the normal, you know, modern building code, okay? So these are kind of loud. And what we like to do to harden them to reduce your turnover costs uh, we always tell you guys, you don't want to put carpet in these units. You want to refinish those beautiful 100-year-old hardwood floors because in between all your turnovers, it's going to keep your turnover costs much lower. You spend a bunch up front, spend an extra few grand to make them beautiful. Then at the next turnovers, all you got to really worry about is painting and like patching little drywall holes. No big deal. You don't have to worry about the floors. You don't have to spend, you know, 1500 two grand replacing your carpet. But there is one little downside to that, and that is sound, right? Sound does travel. Sound does carry. Um, it's really never been anybody's dream growing up. Like, you know, everybody watching this right now, did you ever dream one day that you could live uh, in Kareem's duplex? I, I doubt it. I don't think anybody as a child dreams that they'll one day live in Kareem's duplex with some asshole above them making noise. So because of that, just part of the, the nature of the beast with this business is when you have duplexes, the downstairs and upstairs tenants, periodically they will fight about noise. The upstairs tenant is pissed that the downstairs tenants always saying they're making noise every time they walk to the bathroom or walk to the kitchen downstairs tenants like ah they're dancing on the floor up there their kids are running around blah 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 so you will run into that stuff and you know every once in a while some people move out prematurely because they just can't get along with their neighbor that's just part of the business right the the fact that we're reducing the cost so much at these turnovers outweighs uh you know th that additional cost so it still makes sense to get rid of that carpet you know, if you uh, ran a few duplexes with the hardwoods here for 15 years, and then you ran a few over here for 15 years um, without the carpet. So we got hardwoods, we got carpet. You know, at the end of the 15 years, theoretically, the ones with the hardwoods would perform better because you spent less on the turnovers. Um, that's at least what our data has shown uh, based upon our experience with all these properties. So it's not a perfect uh you know there's never going to be a perfect option there's never going to be an option that's just perfect all the way around there's always going to be a give or take but more or less the best move is to get rid of the carpet keep keep the cost down but you got you know you got the noise issue with a side-by-side -side duplex you can remove carpet so you keep those costs down but you don't have someone literally living on top or below one another they're literally side by side, so you're always going to see a much longer tenancy on average out of side by side duplexes. On top of that, these are three bedroom, one bathroom side by side duplexes, not just two bedrooms. So the current rent, they are leaving so much money on the table, it's ridiculous. Six seventy five a month for each unit, and that wasn't bad, right? You pick it up right now, you don't have to touch a thing, you don't have to do anything. You're going to make thirteen and a half percent on your money. That's not a bad deal. Other people are still scared off by, you know, what the property looks like outside. They're a little nervous. But I'm telling you, it's a solid C-class neighborhood, and we just go in there, we clean that up, right? Like, you know, the whole wise landscaping crew is going to be the next crew that takes over the lawn because you can't really put that on the tenants. You can't put on the tenants at all because who's going to cut the grass? They're both going to fight with each other. So you have to have your property manager cut the grass. So we'll handle the grass. We'll make that look a little bit better. 
Um, there's no point of sale in Cleveland, so you're not going to immediately be forced uh, to fix up the front of that house. One day, I think it would be a good idea for you to spend a little bit of money uh, getting the curb appeal a little bit better. Uh, but today is not that day. It doesn't really necessarily make sense to do it today. Uh, perhaps that's your next turnover because when one of these tenants naturally moves out, what we want to do, we want to go in there and we want to fix this thing up to the nines, man. We want to put premium upgrades in there everywhere. If we do that, because it's a side-by-side -side layout, they have upstairs, they have downstairs. Typically, they have their own basement, like separated by a big, huge concrete wall, so they don't have to share laundry facilities. That is very common in these side-by-side -side builds, which the tenants love, because it's another thing they fight about. They fight about the shared laundry. I would be lying if I told you guys uh, I've never had complaints that uh, one tenant was stealing the other tenant's girlfriend or wife's panties. Uh, we've Tom, how many panty stealers have we had? I think we... I feel like we've talked about this before, and we've talked about making the Tenants from Hell episode about the panty theft, but I don't think we've ever actually put that on the production board, have we? Talked about it many times. I don't think we've actually made a video fully. Through. Okay. That is something that we got to do, dude. Put that on our production board. I think the people are going to want to see the panty theft video. <laughs>